Yeah, Jack Farfel with Report for Canyon Crest Academy, please. All right. Hi, I'm Jack Farfel from CCASB. I'm the ASB president. Um, we are having a great year so far. To start it off on September 19th to the 13th, ASB, our counselors, and our peer counseling program work together to put on Yellow Ribbon Week. This was a week based on mental health and suicide prevention. We had Stan Collins, a suicide prevention expert, expert, talk to our teachers and students. And we also had other lunchtime activities like a butterfly release to culminate the week. We've also had our first three homerooms and students are getting to know their homeroom class and advisors. We've done a lot of icebreakers and activities promoting inclusivity and connectivity. We also just got the report back that we had 58 semifinalists for the PSAT. <coughs> and the State Club and the YAF Club put, our, put out a flag for every victim of 9-11 in order to honor the victims and remember the horrible events that occurred 18 years ago. We also had our annual senior sunrise the next morning where almost 200 seniors woke up to catch the sunrise on our soccer field. Us and ASB have been busy registering clubs this month in order to prepare for club day on October 4th. And then we've also had a lot of sports games going on. We have been planning promos to get people out to the games. And our tennis team is undefeated and number one in the county. And all the other fall sports are off to a strong start. Um, conservatories last week completed projects, which is an interdisciplinary um, challenge to create art around a theme. And we also had our first episode of CCA TV. Finally, we have WASP accreditation visit on October 6th to October 9th. The board and the superintendent's cabinet are welcome to attend the community event on Sunday, October 6th, where other ASP members and I will be leading a tour. We're excited to share what's special about CCA with our visitors, and we're all excited for a great year to come. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so we also had our Yellow Ribbon Week this week, and our peer assistant listener program is visiting all the homerooms, educating us on suicide prevention and how it is always okay to ask for help. We SDA wore yellow on Wednesday, so yesterday in solidarity, and yellow ribbon stickers were passed out to the student body, which was really fun. Um, our welcome back dance is tomorrow night, actually. The theme is Area 51, and, <laughs> and we're gonna have Kona Ice, Ublek, which is the corn starch and water thing, a photo booth and other exciting stuff. It's gonna be in our new Arts and Humanities building quad. Right. It's the first dance that we're gonna have there, so we're all really excited to see how that goes. Um, and we're also getting ready for our club fair, which is October 4th. We're not allowed to paint our new building yet, but we can help by chalking it up, chalking up our concrete walls um, in the quad to make it a little more our own. And the transition to the Arts and Humanities building, or as seasoned SDA students affectionately named the new new building, because now we have two new buildings, um, is going really well. It's really nice to have a little bit more of a condensed campus. Um, and this year we're also sharing a campus with Sunset High School there in our portables and that's been super smooth. We have different school schedules so we don't really get to see them <laughs> too bad. Um, all of our fall sports are ramping up and the student body is enjoying attending our sporting events. Volleyball especially is implementing more themed games, so I just went to a bandana themed one the other day. It was pretty fun. And our school has grown by about 600 students, but our amazing faculty um, haven't lost their personal touch, and they often give high fives to the students at the entrance of the school as we arrive. And I just feel really lucky to have a school staff that really cares about all of us, and I'm excited for a great year. All right, thank you very much. Hello, my name is Wendy Miyazaki, and I'm here as a, representing Lacoste Canyon High School as a senior. Our themes this year are Be the Good and Epic, which stands for Engage, Prepare, Inspire, and Care. 
Our admin teachers in ASB are working towards creating the most positive environment for all students to feel like they're a part of a family and unified at our school. This year, our school parking lots are closed during lunch to prevent loitering on campus, and our school is encouraging more engagement between the students, staff, and campus during lunchtime specifically. Every Wednesday, students and staff are encouraged to spend time together on our meadow at lunch and, pr and play games or just get to know each other better. We are currently in the process of creating a new wellness center on campus that is working closely with our PALS class and provides students with an opportunity to talk to other students on campus who are trained to listen to them. This center helps students feel comfortable and accepted along with allowing students to help to, to have someone close to their age who they can talk to about anything. On the second day of school, ASB put on a welcome pep rally to start off the school year, which featured performances from cheer, dance, and band, and ended with the release of our homecoming theme, which is Welcome to the Jungle this year. Our football team has another away football game tomorrow against Oceanside, and our theater department just held auditions for the fall musical, which is Chicago. All right. Our palace class held a new student luncheon for all the students coming from out of the district to LCC, which provided the new students an opportunity to meet new existing students and socialize while eating lunch together. As homecoming comes up, our ASB class is hard at work planning all the events, including a pep rally, a halftime show, spirit week, homecoming court, and the dance itself. Finally, as for academics, we're starting our second year of the IV program, and it has continued to successfully grow on campus. That's everything. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Cole Parker, representing Tory Pines today. Uh, we have, uh, we've been doing a lot of events uh, for the first month of school at Tory Pines. Coming up, we have a few upcoming events as well. Uh, on October 15th, we will have our, uh, an author, Jean Twainy, coming on campus to talk about uh, her research and uh, around screens and their effects on learning. Uh, that will be held in our new PAC, so we're very excited about the new PAC. Uh, we are also promoting a lot of uh, great social bonding activities, such as our senior sunrise, which is going to be next Tuesday, as well as our freshman dodgeball game. So we're really promoting getting our grade levels and having those social bonding activities is important. Uh, back to school night is next Tuesday, the 24th. We're focusing on getting our parents uh, into the classrooms to meet our amazing staff. Uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, auditions for our first new show in the new space are going on right now. It's The play is called Don't Drink the Water. It's a comedy. Mm -hmm. We're really excited, so am I, for the new space. And uh, we are excited to see about, uh, plays in the future. Uh, I also like a quick shout out to our drama teacher, Mary Payne, who just won an award from CETA. She won the Outstanding Theater Educator Award. Oh, so wow. it's very wow. nice for her. Yeah. Um, love Mary. Anyway, um, in ASB, we also work on a project called The Haunted House, where we take our three rooms on campus and turn it into a haunted house where students during lunch can go walk uh, through the haunted house and it's a great activity for uh, all of our students during lunch to go walk through with their friends. It's really fun and pretty scary. I do have to say so. <laughs> um, Anyway, for athletics, our volleyball team last week took down the number one team in the nation, Redondo Union. Uh, we had all of our students there in support. Blackout was really fun to go to. Um, and they are, our volleyball team is doing very well right now. And, and our, for, for our football team, we are three and one. We will be playing tomorrow at El Camino. Yeah, we're very excited about that. And on October 4th, our next home game against Carlsbad, we'll have our, our staff appreciation night, which where we'll, have, we'll throw a tailgate for our staff, as well as keep a section nice. of the stands for the staff to show our appreciation for them. Uh, our PALS program is working on a self-awareness installation. And our, in ASB, we are also doing the Student Senate again this year, which is where we have one person from every uh, fourth period class that come to meet, uh, and they talk about many different things, including campus beautification and um, different events. It gives uh, our students a chance to really talk to our ASB, and if they have any ideas, it really helps. Uh, they write it down on a slip of paper, and we get all those ideas, and we uh, try to put them into uh, different ideas at the school. So that's our student senate. And finally, just as a little personal um, thing, I, as I've been walking around campus, it's been a very, very nice first month of school at Torrey Pines. A lot, all the students are, are, um, 
are very, like, uh, our upperclassmen are welcoming the new freshmen very well. All the freshmen are going to all the events, and, and everything is running very smoothly. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarah Trigg. I go to Sunset, and, um, yeah. So, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. I hope you all had a great summer. The 2019-2020 school year is officially underway and presenting us and presenting all of us with some challenges, changes, and new opportunities as well. As, as many of you already know, the original Sunset High School campus was torn down over the summer. I gotta say, while it was sad to see the old campus go, none of us missed the old buildings, <laughs> spiders, and skunks. <laughs> now that Sunset students and staff have made a smooth transition to our temporary home at SDA, things have never been better. We are so grateful for being welcomed so kindly by SDA and um, let's see. Um, in addition, district personnel are continuing to make improvements to our temporary home by adding some new trees and ground cover to really beautify our campus. And on September 9th, Sunset staff board members and special guests along with the famous Dr. Haley uh, <laughs> all made an appearance at the, at the new building site where a groundbreaking ceremony was held to celebrate the construction of our future campus. In addition, construction progress is, um, construction progress is on time with the new state-of-the-art facility scheduled to open next school year, which we're all super excited about. And moving on, we recently had a school-wide ice cream social where we were treated with popsicles, ice cream cones, and most every other food under the sun. It was a really hot day. <laughs> and um, in addition, picture day will be held on September 24th. All stu students will be photographed with their school IDs and families have an option of purchasing picture packages as well for like portraits or... Um, <laughs> And finishing up, Mr. Ayala will be hosting coffee with the principal on September 26th. During this, during this get together, he will be providing parents with updates about different upcoming events and, um, and activities at sunset, as well as answering some questions. Thank you all, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.